Hi, my name's uh, Tim. I'm here to do uh, today's reflection from uh, one of the Moravian readings. And for today, that reading is uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verses uh, 1 to 6. I do love Jeremiah. He's one of my favourite books of the Old Testament. I love how vivid and real he is as a character and how uh, beautiful some of his words are of despair, but also how strong he is and, and fervent in his in his devotion. Anyway, this particular passage is following on from a section where Jeremiah is specifically talking about the quality of the leadership within Judah, or rather the lack of quality of leadership. In chapter 22, he talks about how the leaders have been oppressing the people. And he carries this on into chapter 23, where he talks about how the shepherds, i.e. the leaders of Israel, are destroying and scattering the sheep of the pasture. And as he goes through, he contrasts the poor leadership that is seen in uh, Judah with the leadership that God would provide. In verse four, it says, I will place shepherds over them who will tend them and they will no longer be afraid or terrified, nor will any be missing. And then finally, he concludes by actually talking about uh, a messianic picture of uh, God uh, sending a branch, um, a righteous branch uh, in the line of David who will reign wisely and do what is just and right and um, Israel will live in safety and that's a messianic prophet prophecy regarding Jesus. Now it got me thinking this passage about leadership. Um, the main criticisms that um, Jeremiah had about the, the leaders of Judah were, were primarily twofold. First of all they were oppressive of the people that they were leading. They were exploiting them, they were abusing them uh, they weren't actually caring for them. Uh, and as someone who is involved in a position of leadership at work, someone who's involved with relationships with people, it is very important to be reminded that when we're in leadership, we're not there to exploit or get stuff out of our people. We're there to tend them and to look after them as a shepherd does with the, the shepherd's flock. The second criticism that Jeremiah most frequently levelled at the leaders in Judah was that they were paying no attention to the word of God. Uh, now at that time there was a big political tension within Judah. Judah is halfway between Egypt and Babylon, these two huge empires, and so there were two parties within the kingdom of Judah. Some wanted to be with Egypt, some wanted to be with Babylon, and um, what Jeremiah said repeatedly was um, stay with Babylon, ally yourself with Babylon. Ultimately that's not how historically it turned out and that's what led uh, uh, directly to the exile in Babylon. And what Jeremiah was so frustrated about was that there was clear direction from God about how the nation should be led that was being repeatedly ignored by the leadership. Now um, the image that he uses is all about a shepherd looking after a flock and that got me thinking um, that uh, it's so important to, for us to understand actually what a shepherd is like with, it, with his or her flock. <clears throat> so I um, used to inspect a lot of farms for health and safety. And so about four years, I was visiting about a dozen farms a week. And it was really easy to tell whether a farm was gonna be good or not by the way that the farmer would look after his livestock or her livestock. And that's what was the key determinant of whether the farm was a good, safe farm or not. And, and it was really interesting to realise it wasn't necessarily whether there were organic farms or not organic or whatever, big farms or small farms. A farm where the farmer really cared about the livestock always was safer and was better to look around. And I just think that that's really key for us to understand that when you tend, when you actually look after something, it will be better. It will thrive and flourish. I, I think um, sometimes we think that God isn't actually a shepherd, he isn't tending to us. Sometimes we think God is just out to get out of us what he can, that we're there just to do what he wants. I think it's really important um, to reflect today and remember that actually God really is the good shepherd. We really do have a father in heaven who is looking after us as individuals, tending and caring for us about our needs so that we wouldn't be terrified or afraid that we won't go missing, that he will keep an eye out for us. I really feel that that's at the heart of this passage, that that's what God's heart is towards us. He wants to do that. We're not an obligation on his part. We're not something he has to put up with. He 
he genuinely, his heart is about wanting to, to tend for us and to care for us. So I really encourage you today, maybe just to pause and reflect on that and to recognise that our Father in heaven has got a real desire to be our shepherd. It's not like we've been lumped in his care and he has to put up with us. He really does prioritise our well-being and our needs. So I hope that speaks to you about what God really feels about you today. And uh, if you have a chance, maybe thank him that that is how he is. Have a really good day. Bye.